Hello, welcome back to uh, Ice Station. Um, in this video, we we'll be talking about Van Weezer, the new Weezer album that dropped yesterday. Uh, that's five seven twenty one, May seven twenty twenty one. Um, I, I know I said in my on my page that I was gonna um, post this video yesterday. I apologize, day later. I was exhausted yesterday after doing a bunch of shit. Um, but yeah, if you watch this video, please subscribe. It helps me out so much. Um, like the video, that helps as well. And leave a comment so we can, so I get to know you, you get to know me, and we just create a network of happy networking people. Anyways, um, yeah, so go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for my current subscribers. You guys mean the world to me. You guys are awesome. So here's the joke of the day. Um, a lawyer says to his client, or soon to be client, so you want me to defend you? You got any money? And the client responds, no, I ain't got no money, but I got a 1928 Ford. And he's like, and then the lawyer says, in response, um, you can raise money by selling it. And so what do they, so that's good. So what do they accuse you of stealing? And I'll let you know the answer to the riddle, the joke, at the end of this video. So be sure to stay tuned to the whole thing. And subscribe. All right, it's the last time I'll mention it. Maybe. All right, so Van Weezer. Yes, not Van Halen. Van Weezer. By Weezer. Uh, this is Weezer's 15th album. Um, and it comes only four months after their last album, which was released in January of this year, called OK Human. And that's a pretty good album, you know, for what Weezer is. Um, kind of turn loneliness into apathy, <laughs> make you fantasize about girls, do drugs. They're a pro pot man, which I don't really care. I don't smoke pot, but if you do, I don't care. I'd even go far as to say, legalize it. Anyway, um, yeah, so, it, it really is just another Weezer album. All their albums sound the same. They don't really differentiate themselves from album to album like some bands do. <laughs> um, there are a few songs that kind of sound like the, the same tone that Eddie Van Halen would use on his guitar. Um, same kind of like uh, tone and same style of playing, same riff. And it, re it resembles Van Halen, but that's like one or two songs on the whole album. And they're not even the first song of the album. So, I don't know. It's a gimmick. You know, obviously, like they always do. Weezer always has a gimmick. Uh, I like Weezer. Blue album is gold. It's a great album. You know, I had some filler on it. Uh, I must say. I actually listened to it recently. It's, uh, it's not as good as I remember, but my name is Jonas, and ain't so. Buddy Holly, uh, In the Garage, Sweater Song, Only in Dreams, I might say. Anyway, um, Yeah, it's a Weezer album. He, he drones up Rivers Cuomo, the singer, songwriter, and the brainchild behind Weezer. Um, he, uh, he drones on about loneliness and wanting to get one more hit of whatever it is he's smoking. Um, some good pop sensibilities. These are intelligent songs, but kind of like dumb at the same time. Uh, the lyrics are kind of trite and simple and sometimes I dare say cheesy uh, it's just it's just like it, does he mean anything he says or is he just writing to make money yeah, it doesn't really they've been doing this 15 albums since 1994 and uh, they just never try to do anything different they're formulaic and that's that's not something that appeals to me. I mean, I'll listen to it because it's Weezer, the big band, everyone knows them. But I'm not going to, like, go to the concert or anything. <laughs> um, they're supposed to tour Green Day, actually. I think it was last year, 2020. But then we all know what happened in 2020. COVID. 
Um, yeah, I think the whole Van Van Weezer title and the style, the the style of playing that mimics Eddie Van Halen is just a gimmick. I don't really think like maybe he's probably a big fan of Weezer, uh, Van Halen. A lot of people are, including myself. Um, but if he wanted to do it justice, he would have done a full album deep dive. You know? That's what I did. Um, so, but it makes you feel good. It'll put you in a good mood. It really does. I was listening to OK Human to get ready for Van Weezer two days ago. And I was like, this is yeah, this is a good song. That was a good, it's, I'm going to sing. Um, this is my microphone. Uh, I'm going to sing. Um, rock my audible headphones. Scrapes of a rat. You think I care? I just don't care. <laughs> Love it. Um, this is a better album. Maybe they'll release the third album four months from now. Who knows? They're cranking them out in these past few years. Um, notable tracks would be Blue Dream, which is just the, the exact same rip-off riff of Black Sabbath's Crazy Train. It's the same fucking easy to play riff, so but it sounds cool the first time first ten million times you hear it. Um, and he, even like the verses, like the kind of like galloping pace of the song, um, is the same as Black Sabbath's Crazy Train. Um, and I don't know why they're taking Black Sabbath and they could have taken Van Halen because the name of the album is Van Weezer, not. Not a Weezer Sabbath or, or anything. Um, so yeah, and then Precious Metal Girls, an acoustic love song. It's the last song of the album. It's pretty cool. I have a girlfriend. I'm in love, guys. So I liked it. And maybe I'll play it for my girlfriend when she's out of quarantine. All right, so the answer to the joke is well, let's first recap the joke. Uh, lawyer says to his client, so you want me to defend you? Have you got any money? And the client says, no, I got no money, but I got a 1928 Ford. And then the lawyer says, oh, well, you can pay me with that. So what is it they're accusing you of stealing? And the guy says, a 1928 Ford. <laughs> it's not that funny, but I just thought I'd try and brighten your day. Uh, eight minute mark, so we're doing good. Um, stay tuned for uh, more content. And I won't say it, but you know it's good.